Hey guys, welcome to Ask Clay Wednesday. It gives you an opportunity to ask any question you want and get a video response. Here's one. Clay, how do you think that hit songs today differ from those of the 70s and 80s? Well, there are several major differences, but I'll just name a few. The rest you can take a look at on my website on the tab that says FYI. Instrumentation. Back in the 70s and 80s, you'd have the bass, the drums, two guitars, two keyboards, congas, and that would comprise your rhythm section, and you'd be vibing off of each other to really play great, and it created some really good tracks. Then you'd bring in the horn players and the string players. That was called the sweetening. Today, they do it in reverse. What happens is someone will um, use Pro Tools Logic and Reason and create a track based on beats, synthesized horns, strings, and instruments. And you, one person cannot play the way a whole room full of musicians play. It's not the same. It's not the same feel, not the same warmth. And then when it comes to the lyric and the melody, we had lyric writers and melody writers who were on staff full time. Many of them, uh, for example, the labels would have uh, 10, 12, 15, 20 and more, even at Motown, who were signed specifically to write lyric and melody. And then you came up with some great products. Now, we had to compete against each other in order to get a song out when it came to the Motown artists. So it made us have to work really hard. And then um, it had to go through quality control. If they didn't like it, we'd have to rewrite again and again till we got it right. Today, you'll have someone who'll do the track and then will call in people to do the lyric and the melody after creating the track. Well, that's like saying, okay, Clay, here's some paint, put a house under it. It's, it's not going to work too well. It's not going to be as nice as if you built the house first and then painted the house. And then when it comes to the singing, what happens is uh, before you sing and sing and sing your best as a vocalist in order to get it right, today there's auto-tune. So if you don't get it right, they send it through auto-tune and they correct it. That takes out the life and all the flavor out of it. So, and we're seeing more from live going into digital, and the warmth is not the same. And there's some who are combining the two, and I think that's beginning to work a lot better, where they'll have the synthesized track and then replace that with live musicians as, as much as possible. And so, we're getting some better things. I think we need to really focus on the fact that creating music is an art. And to do our best is vitally important. Let's make some mixes here.